Yes, sir. You know, it's kind of crazy when somebody tries to give you some constructive criticism or try to help you out in certain situations. And then basically in every time, every time somebody tries to help you, give you some type of advice, try to give you some constructive criticism, you take it as an attack. And that's what sisters, specifically the ratchet sisters, the ratchet black women of America and beyond, they always take some type of advice as an attack. Why can't you let me be? Let me live my life. It's my head. It's my body. It's my kids. This, that, and the third. A lot of brothers are tired of hearing this nonsense when a lot of people are trying to help you help yourself. But everybody always feels like, specifically the ratchet black woman, feels like they don't need any help. They could do bad all by themselves because they see their images left and right. So they feel like that's the way to go about it. They see the ratchets twerking on music videos, VH1, the platforms, the list goes on, and they feel like that's the way to make it in life. I could go out looking however, I could go out doing whatever, and I could be whatever. When brothers are trying to tell these sisters out here what they like, they like accept me as I am or go on because they feel like they have a long list of options, but what they don't understand is those options, 99%, 99.9% .9 of that list only want to smash. They don't give a damn about nothing else going on with you because they see how you carry yourself and then you wonder why you consistently saying, niggas ain't shit, this, that, and the third. I could do bad by myself. I'm strong and independent. My mama told me I don't need no man. All I need is a job and a college degree. Things like that. And brothers ain't trying to hear that shit, man. Sisters out here. Brothers, it don't matter what demographic you from right now. You could be out here in the grocery store and you hear somebody yelling with a masculine tone at their son or their daughter. Don't grab that. That. Don't touch that. I told you put that back. Things like that. You look back and it's a broad wearing a bonnet, a robe and some pajamas or things like that. Girls, when have you started to leave the house not unconcerned about how you're presenting yourself yeah you don't want to go to the beauty salon or whatever you don't want to make a quick coffee run and, and and get your hair all exposed to the air and whatnot doing the natural things that your hair is supposed to be doing and whatever you want to go outside with this big ass bonnet whatever the fuck you call it a bonnet whatever the hell you call that shit on your damn head and going to walmart stop and shop to pick up a couple of goods but you couldn't put on a pants you couldn't take that off and put on a silk wrap around your head that looks way more presentable i know there's a bunch of head wraps headbands and things like that that you can find on these websites but these girls they leave the house every day rocking leggings with no drawers. So what does that say about your vagina? Not to digress. You're leaving with bonnets. You're hitting the airport and things like that. That dirty ass bonnet that you're supposed to be sleeping in is touching airport seats, headrests. And then you're touching that on the hotel pillowcase and things like that. Your face is touching all that. All these germs. Y'all bros don't even be thinking like that. But I'm not saying here to bash you. I'm saying here to ask you who raised you. Let's check it out. Monique caught a lot of heat, a lot of flack because y'all want to call her auntie and all that when she calling you queens. Hey, sister, giving you praise, things like that. But when she's saying something to help your image, when all these girls always wondering why they always presented like this, that and the third, that's because a good amount more than most present themselves <laughs> in a way that you have to ask, did you have any home training? Did you have a father in your life? What did your mother used to tell you growing up? Because a lot of women that I know, they not leaving the house like that. They not leaving the house without brushing their teeth, washing their face, combing their hair, rocking a bra, rocking panties, things like that. But right now, it's a ready to rumble. It's all hell loose. No hose bar when it comes to so-called ghetto black bras leaving the house. We got to keep it funky because we already know who's wearing a bonnet and pajamas, my man. We don't see it too often. Yes, we have some other ratchet bras of other nations and shit like that. But the vast majority, we're talking about 95% plus, are sisters coming out the house with bonnets and pajamas like they're ready to sleep. But they're coming out with their kids, things like that. And then you wonder why people look at you the way you do. So when brothers and whoever is trying to give you some advice, how about you actually sit there and try to let it marinate in your mind and actually see if people are trying to help you or hurt you? It is what it is.
Let's check out what Monique got to say because Monique is only coming from a place of love. Monique don't talk unless she it's about morals and values. Monique stands firm on principles. Everybody was trying to clown Monique when she was talking about how much she was getting paid compared to like a Amy Pueller, whatever that that blonde broad that that's a comedian, but she's not a comedian. Whatever that broad name is that was on Netflix, she was talking about how her pay ain't nowhere close and things like that. Everybody wanted to clown Monique, but now people want to cancel Monique because she's telling you ghetto broads to respect yourself. That's why you guys are called hood boogers for a reason. It is what it is. Hey, my sweet babies. So, um. It took me a minute to say what I'm getting ready to say because I want to make sure I'm not saying it in judgment and I want to make sure I'm saying it from a place of love. Y'all, some of y'all have given me the title of auntie and I'm honored that y'all do that, right? But there are times where auntie got to talk to her babies and say some real shit. So... Yesterday, I was in the airport in Atlanta because I'm in Jackson, Mississippi now at Chuckles Comedy Club, right? And we got three shows tonight. We got a matinee at 5.30, then we got seven, then we got 10, right? And I'm excited. I always love going to the stage. So when we got to the airport yesterday, I was excited, like, all right, baby, let's go get him in Jackson, Mississippi. And as we began to walk through the airport, I saw so many, actually too many to count and too many for me to tap. But I saw so many of our young sisters in head bonnets, scarves, slippers, pajamas, blankets wrapped around them. And this is how they're showing up to the airport. And it, I've been seeing it not just at the airport, I've been seeing it at the store, at the mall. I've been seeing sisters showing up with these bonnets and headscarves and these slippers. And the question that I'm having to you, my sweet babies, when did we lose pride in representing ourselves? When did we step away of let me make sure I'm presentable when I leave my home? Let me make sure I'm representing the family I created so that if I'm out in the street, I look like I have pride. A lot of these sisters don't have any pride, Monique. A lot of these sisters are coming from dysfunctional families, so they're going to come out the house looking dysfunctional. It is what it is. We're not saying this to be harsh. We're saying this because it's out of love, and we're saying this because we want to see better. A lot of people want to cry about how we don't get this or we don't get that or why you do this or this, that, and the third. And you got to understand, you got to look at yourself first. If you're the common denominator in all situations, you got to change. Too many women come out of too many women come out in public looking like a mess. Whether you going to school, whether you going shopping, it don't matter where you going. You going out in public. So how are you not presenting yourself the best way that you possibly can? A lot of these ghetto hood boogers, they only want to get dressed up when they're going out to the nightclub or some type of function in the daytime. And then after that, it's back to looking like you're going to sleep. And that's what it's meant for. Your house. Keep that shit on in your house, man. Self. And I'm not saying no full face of makeup. I'm not saying no full front lace frontal. I'm not saying none of that. All I'm saying is, could you please comb your hair? And if you don't want to comb your hair, they got enough shit out here now, baby, where you can style yourself up and look like you have pride. I'm not. A lot of these sisters are basically capitulate into these European beauty standards is because they see all these women on the tabloids and social media sites and things like that. They all have long hair. They all have long, straight hair, things like that. These bras want to wear a weave, and they can't even wash that shit. So what type of an investment is that, really? What sisters got to understand is you can manipulate... You can manipulate your hair in so many ways that your hair does not need to be long, man. I got a real quick story. I got somebody that used to just didn't know what the hell they wanted to do with their hair. Used to just braid it, throw a wig on top and things like that. Man, I used to push, push, push. Yo, just get a haircut, get a haircut. Now that person got a haircut. Everybody loves it. That person loves it. 
job well done. You know what I'm saying? I'm just happy that I had to push this person to go ahead and make some change because that's what it comes down to. A lot of people do not like change. A lot of these sisters are scared of change. They like doing the same goofy shit that they've been doing since they was a teenager in middle school and things like that. A lot of these girls don't grow up. And you, you want to know how I know a lot of these girls don't grow up? Just listen to the way Monique is talking. She's talking like she's walking on eggshells because she's talking to a bunch of kids that's not going to mature until their looks run out. And you don't have pride. But the representation that you're showing, someone would have to ask you to know that you had it. So my sweet babies, for the ones that do call me auntie, I love you for real. Even the ones that don't, I love y'all asses too. But the babies that say auntie to me, please listen to auntie. Always have pride in your representation of you. It's not to get a man. It's not. It is just your representation of you, my sweet babies. So I'm just giving y'all a warning. If I see you in the streets, in the airport, in the Walmart, and you got a bonnet on, and you got slippers on, and you looking like, what the fuck? A Nikki gonna tap you and say, hey, baby girl, show you what you worth. Show you what you deserve. So all of those posts that you see celebrities putting out there saying, hey, queen, hey, queen, hey, queen, well, can we start putting it into action? So I'm asking out, wiser sisters when we see our little babies out there looking like they just don't care and i'm not saying y'all don't it looks like it it looks like it and it is because they'll be like i don't care what you think i'm gonna do what i want to do i'm gonna wear what i want to wear it don't matter what i wear y'all always got something to say <laughs> <laughs> all these bras that snap they neck and they fingers when they talking shit, chewing bubble gum and all that nonsense, man. Listen, yo, all you bras want to call yourselves a queen and whatnot, right? Well, carry yourselves like a queen. Start speaking like it. Start dressing like it. Start dressing modest. You can't be coming out the house with leggings and a bonnet and pajamas or whatever, slippers, things like that. And then you want to call yourself a queen on the back end. And then you go out in public and it's like you stick out like a sore thumb. Everybody else is dressed presentable. It don't matter if they're in some lazy ass jeans or some dirty ass sneakers. It's way better than being in pajamas and slippers, man. That don't compare. Or slippers and leggings. Whichever comparison you're trying to make, it doesn't outweigh wearing jeans or something more presentable and modest in public. You want you got to present yourself how you want to be treated, man. A lot of people, man, they do not take this constructive criticism, sisters. This is why a bunch of y'all are calling this dude, Kevin Samuels, asking him for a high-value man that you will never get. <laughs> and it's all the same bras that you can imagine them in the Walmart rocking bonnets and shit like that. Calling this dude channel, a dude that's in his 50s with no woman, asking him, how can I get a high-value man? I want a man that makes six figures. No, I'm not trying to work. No, I don't know if I want to have kids. You know? <laughs> yo, this shit don't make no sense, yo. Can we just tap them and say, baby girl, you deserve more than what you're showing. Represent you with pride, my babies. And that may be a part of us helping our community. Because if you look like you don't give a damn, how you going to be treated? So... When I say, hey, queen, I can only say it to the sisters that it belongs to. Because a lot of us are still in queen training. So if you're in queen training, stop being fearful of taking your position. And queens don't walk around with bonnets and headscarves and slippers and pajamas. That's for the house. When you go outside, represent you, baby. Like you are worthy and you deserve the title of Hey Queen. Uh, Nikki, love y'all for real. And I ain't never going to BS you. Stop wearing them damn bonnets and head scarves looking like don't nobody give a damn about you, nor do you give a damn about yourself. Because you're beautiful. So represent it.
That wraps that up. Sisters, man, we all saying this out of love, man. If you have respect for yourself, you got to carry yourself in a different manner. You can't call yourself a queen and then you coming out the su- and then you coming out of the house looking like a hot mess. A lot of these sisters be coming out rocking all this gear because they act like they're ready for war. They ready to fight at any given time. It's like you coming out dressed like you ready to fuck a girl up and then you wonder why. A lot of people, man, you go on World Star, you go on these sites, you see these compilations of all these fights and whatnot that are between girls and things like that. What are they wearing? If it's not out of the nightclub with some drunk bullshit going on, it's basically some daytime nonsense. There's a good amount of these bras rocking bonnets, rocking pajamas, putting a wailing on girls. So they go out, meaning, <laughs> so they go out acting like I mean business. But... What they don't understand is the people looking on it, looking from the outside in are looking at you like a joke, man. We got to understand that if we want better, if we want to be perceived better, if we want to be treated better, we got to do better. We got to act better, man. You know what I'm saying? We got to think better. A lot of people don't have that self-love. And that's basically what it stems from, because a lot of people have never been told that they were beautiful since they were young to this day, to whatever age that they are in in this present day. You know what I'm saying? So it comes down to trying to hide the length of your hair because we got goofballs that like to crack jokes because they dealing with that self-hate on the low also. So they want to crack jokes at you to make themselves feel better and have everybody laugh and shit like that. Don't worry about those idiots, man. You got to worry about the people that's talking positive, the people that's actually trying to talk to you like they care. Look how Monique is talking. She's talking like this and she still received backlash. Does that make any sense? So if Monique can't tell y'all something like this, walking on eggshells, who the hell can? (laughs) You know what I'm saying, man? Golly, like they're talking about Monique is giving surprising advice to black woman who wears bonnets in public. How is this surprising advice, my man? This shouldn't even be advice in the first place. But the problem is more than most of the ghetto ratchet hood boogers that go out in public and Walmart stop and shop, shop right. The list goes on in your local shopping plaza. They are rocking this attire. That basically means that at any given moment, they are ready to throw down. So don't be a sister. Don't be a dude trying to come out your mouth sideways because these sisters will run up on you because they're ready for war because they don't care about anything else. If they don't care about how they look coming outside of the house, the question is, what do they care about? (laughs) Let me know what y'all think, man. I'm out.